In this video, let's see another numerical problem based on the concept of properties of determinants. We have already seen three numerical problems and this video is dedicated to the fourth numerical problem based on the same concept of properties of determinants. Now the question says show that this determinant has the value equal to zero. And you can see that in this question we can use one very popular and important property that a square and bc are having some operation in between them that is an arithmetic operation b square and ca also have an operation c square and ab also have an operation so can we not write the heading proof and get about started with this question wherein we can separate into two determinants we know this property right so the question changes to 1 1 1 a b c a square b square c square and again some other determinant and that other determinant is what it is again added up 1 1 1 a b c and what is left when a square b square c square are in the first determinant minus b c minus c a minus a b is there now if you want you can take out this minus sign as common and take it outside so that is what i'm going to do i'm taking this minus sign from everywhere common that is taking the minus sign common from the column number three and that minus sign will come out so it will be minus here when this happens my two determinants are obtained now i see that here it is bc but a is not there here it is ca but b is not there here it is a b and c is not there where is c c is in fact here so if you multiply the whole first row by a the second row by b the third row by c what happens let's see so i'm going to apply r1 such that r1 multiply a r2 such that r2 has to be multiplied by b r3 such that r3 will be multiplied by my c and this I want to do it in the case of second determinant, not in the case of first. So I keep on writing the first one as it is, no change with it. Right? And now what I will do is with the second one. Let's see what we are going to do. We are going to operate in the manner R1 is such that A has to be multiplied with R1. So 1 into A is A. A into A is A square. BC into A is ABC, right? Now b with r2 so it is b b square a b c again because c a is already there you need to multiply by b similarly c with r3 so it is c c square a b c now why i had done this because a b c now can be taken out as common from the column number three when a b c is taken out as column from column number 3, if you take it as common, first of all, before taking common, we need to apply one more step. When you multiply a determinant by something, you have to even divide it. So if you are multiplying, you are not free to do so without dividing. One thing that you have to divide also. The other thing. The other thing is what? That you need 1 a a square here also in some form. So let's take a b c common in this very step. So my things change. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to write ABC here. That is what I'm going to do. I'm taking out ABC common, minus was there, ABC is here, it has become 1, 1, 1. Now both these ABCs cancel and give me 1, right? So now things change as 1 A A square, 1 B B square, 1 C C square, no change in the first determinant, right? Minus 1 into something, 1 into something means that thing only. So it is minus a b c a square 1 b square 1 c square 1 now 1 1 1 should be there but it should be there in the first column but here it is in the third column a b c should be there but it should be in which column it should be in the second but here it is in the first similarly a square b square squeezer should be there but it should be in the third column not second so let's interchange things i want this in the first Let's interchange these two. If you interchange C3 with C1, what happens? This thing will come here, this thing will go there. So my determinant will become what? Let's see. I do the rest of the solution here. I need to interchange C1 and C3. 
So I interchange C1 with C3. So my determinant changes, no change in the first one, 1 A A square, 1 B B square, 1 C C square, right? No change. Changes in this one. Minus was already there. You apply one interchange, you have again minus, so minus minus becomes plus. Interchange will give me what? 1, 1, 1 here, A, B, C here in the third column and A square, B square, C square here. So A square, B square, C square here, right? But still, are these same? No, they are not. Why? Because A square, B square, C square is needed otherwise in the third column. So let's again interchange these two. When you interchange, you apply basically C2 interchange with C3 and one interchange will give me one negative sign. So here it does not change A, B, C and A square, B square, C square. Interchange will give me one negative, you give one negative. What is the change in these columns? One, one, one does not change, just copy. Now apply the interchange A, B, C, A square, B square, C square, right? Now see. Are these equal? Yes, they are exactly equal. So these both things cancel each other and what I get is zero. And that is what I needed to prove that this determinant has the value equal to zero. So we have done in this video, the CBAC question problem, which was asked in the year 1995 and one more year that was in 2002 as well.